with his peck pecking and... Order in my court! This is the third time this month you two have been in for disturbing the peace and destroying city property. I'm ordering you both into therapy until you learn to get along. What? I am Dr. Von Brain. Welcome to my clinic. <sighs> is this gonna take long, Doc? The hockey playoffs are on TV and... Some of us want to hear what the good doctor has to say about how crazy you are! No. First, look at these cards. If you say, for instance, tree, good. Broccoli, maybe. Cow riding a bicycle, <laughs> you're cuckoo. Oh, 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 I know, I know, I know. A woodpecker getting flushed down the john. A woodpecker flattened by a steamroller. A dinosaur eating a woodpecker. But I got a copy of these from my den. You're nuts and you're going down, Mimi. I must consult my medical journal, Mr. Woodpecker. I'll be back. What are you up to, Woodpecker? Oh, Doc, she's attacking me. Mimi, ah, stop. <laughs> Help me, Doc. What is the meaning of this, Mr. Woodpecker? <laughs> you had two doors. Who knew? <laughs> I also have two patients who need deep, deep therapy. Secondly, we will have you do the art therapy. You are to create an artistic expression of how you feel. When you are done, ring this bell. I will look at your artwork and then fully understand what is going on inside your little brains. To take a whole museum full of art to understand your brain, woodpecker. Uh, uh, my two inner feelings are just straining to be let free. Uh -huh. Oh, what do you know? It's the inner me. I wondered where I left it. Oh, ah, 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 ah. Woodpecker! Responsible for this. He is. You two simply cannot be left alone together. There is only one solution: aversion therapy. These helmets monitor everything you're feeling. Woody, go ahead and pinch Miss Mimi. Yes, sir. I'm gonna love this therapy. <laughs> You see, the helmet sensed your hostility and told a hidden nozzle to spritz you. Ha! Served you right, Woodpecker! Oh. You see, the helmets will keep sending you reminders whenever you aren't getting along, okay? <laughs> I now leave you to be cured. What are you so happy about? I have self-discipline, Woodpecker. Nothing you can do can get me riled up. Oh, what's your problem, you raggedy rent gouger? Hmm. This must be what gets the signal from the helmets. Now, when I feel like clobbering Mimi, I won't get it. She will. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, woodpecker, what's that funny looking thing on your neck? Oh, it's your head! Ha ha! Ha ha! That's it, you screwy walking feather bed! <laughs> Man, this sure isn't working like I wanted. Aha! So the woodpecker's trying to liven things up, is he? All righty. This is for drying your laundry in my microwave. <laughs> this is for selling my bagpipes without telling me, you penny pinching, cactus loving, loony excuse for a landlady. <laughs> This is for buying it back and serenading me at 2 a.m. Well, I think they should be cured by now. <laughs> My clinic! Oh, no! Woodpecker, you look like a drowned rat. Crazy Woodpecker! Crazy Woodpecker's crazy landlady! Look what you did with your crazy woodpecker landlady kind of fighting! I don't fight! Mommy. Well, I guess there's one thing we can agree on, Meanie. That doctor and his therapies are crazy! Backyard butler, more lemonade, please. <laughs> Absolutely per- What? That's outrageous! Well, the Pampered Pooch Pavilion won't be getting my business at those prices! Now, who can I get to watch my new Pooch Woochie when I go downtown for a while? Yeah! Aha! Mm. Uh -huh. Perfect. What pecker! Uh, Miss Meanie, if this is about my late rent... I'll make a deal with you, Woodpecker. Watch my new dog for the afternoon. I'll forget that you're a week late in the rent. Dog, huh? Yeah, gee, I don't think so. Don't make me point out Article 64, Paragraph 11, Section 3 of your rental agreement. The Woodpecker will dog sit any time the landlady wants him to, or he will be kicked out on his tail feathers faster than he can say, ah, ah, ah. And whatever you do, don't feed my little Poofy. Oh, he has a condition. <laughs> He's not to eat anything between meals! What do we have here? Miss Minnie's new poofoofy. <laughs> so you come to visit your Uncle Wally, eh? <laughs> Wally, give me the dog. I'm watching him for Miss Minnie, and she said... Oh, a fine job you're doing, Woodpecker. Wally, you gotta listen to me. Meanie will kick me out of my house if... Yeah, happy day, Woodpecker. <laughs> when Miss Meanie sees how irresponsible you've been, she will kick you out for sure, you bet. Hmm, <laughs> bye-bye. Can 
and a poochie do a trick too. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> for a woodpecker to do what a woodpecker's got to do. <laughs> now you look like a proper Swedish doggy, plump and warm for winter. Thanks, Al. Thanks a 
Australian. Hey, copper. How about a driver's license? Hey, you. How about a license? Just a minute, buddy. First, you gotta take a test. Read that chart. I can't see a thing. Now, can you read it? I can't see a thing. Oh, you can't, eh? Can you read this? I can't see a thing. Can you read it now? I'll bet you can read it now. <laughs> now, I'm gonna test your reflexes. Now we'll see what you know about driving. Give the arm signal for a right turn. Now a left turn. Now back up.
It's the family curse of the Hikapukters. <laughs> no! Phew. It almost destroyed my best Swedish meatball trophy. <laughs> my grandmama says the only cure is to stand on your head and drink a glass of vodka. Whoa! Oh, let me help her. I'll never get any sleep. Now, let's get you into those boots. Hey, this is gonna work. Then we'll both get some sleep. Trust me. Okay, I trust... Oh, Ferd! <laughs> <laughs> Pack. Uh, Get off of me, you <laughs> Wait a second. Aunt Fern used to cure her hiccups by holding her breath. Hey, Wally, buddy, I know how to stop your heek and duper poopers. No way, Woodpecker. Your antidotes are too dangerous. I'll cure myself. Hmm. Eh, uh, you couldn't cure a ham, Wally. <laughs> Hold your breath. Hold it. My Aunt Fern swears by this remedy. <laughs> That's it, Wally. Hold it right there. Hey, Wally, say, Wally, what time you got, Wally? Well, it's a quarter to... Skunk! Hold this and your breath. Hold it, Wally. I promise you don't want a whip of this stuff. <laughs> it worked, didn't it? I broke the curse of the Hinkle Hoopa Whatchamacallits. Hoop? <laughs> oh, that does it. Stay away from me, Woodpecker. You're a curse. <laughs> you, you're worse than any Hickapookters. Okay, fine. I know when I'm not appreciated. Good night! <laughs> what? It's gonna take! Boo. Ah, oh, Ferd. Boo. Oh, Ferd. So, he wants to scare the hiccups away, hmm? Well, then I'm just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> oh, it's no use. Oh, the end is near. Oh, at least I still have you, my pride and shining joy. Scaring him doesn't work. Holding his breath doesn't work. Drinking water upside down doesn't... Wait a minute. These Heakin poopers are so bad. Maybe I gotta do all three cures at once. Dad! Woodpecker! No! It is the only thing I got left! The sun's coming up, Wally. Neither of us has slept a wink. I'll let her drop if you don't stop the hiccups! Holding raft, check. Inflatable raft, just add water. Oh, 
Records and I hear someone has a record-breaking case of the Hika Poopters. That'd be him. Well, if they are truly record breakers, I'd like to present the lucky victim with this check for one million dollars. A million dollars? Why, sure. He's got the super duper Hika Pooper thingies. I'm his agent, and I'll need a cut of that cash when he. You get nothing for Decker. I give you a world record, Hika Pukta. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> okay. Guess I'll go see about that guy on Maple Street who can whistle with his toes. Wait. Yeah, please. Wait. No, wait. I can do this. Just wait a minute. Just wait a minute. Well, at least now I can finally get some shut eye. Ah, finally. Sleep. Hika! The Hika Poochters! Oh, no! Hika! <laughs> what a great day for the grand old game. Ha! Easy hole. I'll be sinking my putt in jig time. Computer, select me a driver. A wood for Woody. Just the ticket. <laughs> Nutwink, Rudy, I'm going to go visit my friend Gertrude on the 15th green. Now don't get into any mischief while I'm gone. We won't, Mom. Good boys. Oh, no, you don't. Now, give me back my golf balls. <laughs> <laughs> 
Goofing on you, mister. Yeah, no harm, no foul, right? Wrong! I thought I told you two to stay out of trouble! Oh, we're sorry. Yeah, we're sorry. It was all a misunderstanding. Yeah, we, 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 we thought you were somebody else. So sorry. Not quite, boys. Now you're going to get what's coming to you. Hmm. Looks like a 300 yard straight into a left hook dog around the sand trap. What club do you recommend? <laughs> It's a wood for Woody. Now let's see you send that ball 300 yards. A hole in one! <laughs> Do you know whose corn that is? Well, it's mine! And you get out of here! Doggone crows! Let me see the other hand. Now let me see both hands. Smoke! 
you got there? I should have thought of this before. I can read. Crow. Hmm. It's me. Bull. Goat. Hmm. This gives me an idea. I'm looking for crows. Yeah? Well, don't look now. But there's one right over there. Yeah? Where is he? Where is he? C-R-O-W. Crow. Yup, that's him all right. The... This won't take long. Crows are tough, ain't they? Ah, you got the wrong one, stupid. This is a crow. Oh, yeah, I see it now. This is convulsive evidence. <laughs> the, this may take a little longer. Did you get him? Uh, I had him whipped, but they pulled a pair of horns on me. Crows, Milo! Go get him! <laughs> this guy slays me! <laughs> Just as I thought, you're a crow. Correct! That's absolutely correct. It pays to be ignorant. Have a cigar. and crows is giving me a headache. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yep, I am world-renowned commercial fisherman, Smedley Hook'em and Keep'em, the Salmon King. And I'm just about to reel in another big one. Well, I'll be. I ain't never seen a fish like you before. What are you, some kind of herring? A pike? A halibut? Hold on one lure fleckin' mint. You ain't no fishy. You're a penguin. A self-respecting commercial fisherman always tosses back the little ones. Time for this angler to get back to the cannery with the catch of the day. I know what you're thinking. A world-renowned fisherman and a pilot, too? Yup, I'm what you might call a renaissance man. <laughs> it's kind of drafty up here in the wild blue yonder. Huh? Drafty and noisy. I'll just switch on the autopilot whilst I go have a little look-see. a non-penguin flight, so I'm sending you back home. Air mail delivery like. Huh? Hmm, thought I had this baby flying perfectly level like. Now I know I've heard that sound before. Huh? Persistent little penguin. Goodbye. A hard-working commercial fisherman needs nourishment to sustain his strength. I swear, it's getting so a man can't even have a moment's peace to enjoy the fruits of his labors. Stay out, you freeloading fish napper! <laughs> ah, nothing like rewarding yourself for a job well done, I always say. Will I be a Marlin's mama? I never knew penguins could fly. <laughs> yep, that boy is positively starting to fry my flounder. <laughs> and stay down this time, you little salmon swiper! Nine. Huh? Okay. One and lift off. You know, a skilled pilot sure would be lost without his trusty map. <laughs> Deploy my old fashioned plane splitter. Okay, you little seafood snatcher, the jig is up. You come back here and take what's coming to you, you tuxedo wearing garment. That's funny. Almost feels like I'm running downhill. Holy 
mackerel. I plum forgot to turn on the autopilot. Uh-oh, I pulled the wrong lever. My price is cargo! Lost my precious cargo and nearly lost my plane. This is all your fault, penguin. Ah! I am gonna bait and hook you when we get down from here, boy. What the? Hey, come back here, you little deserter. This message will return to a really big movie. Blow up everything you see. Oh, being an actor must be so exciting. Oh, thank you to all the little people who made this award possible. My only regret is I've never had a chance to work in a really big movie. Say, fans, how would you like a chance to work in a really big movie directed by Swedish action director Wally Walrus? Wow! <laughs> Extras are needed in Hollywood today. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. Walrus. I'll shoot this movie exactly as it's outlined in my little storyboard. It just doesn't sing to me, Wally. It needs something fresh. <laughs> My opus. Hi, I'm Winnie Woodpecker, and I'm here for... Oops, Oops sorry. Sorry? Red, you just made the biggest splash I've ever seen in Hollywood. Ha, ha, ha! Say, wait a minute. You've got that fresh girl-next-door quality that's big, big, big now. Walrus, I want Winnie Woodpecker in this picture. Oh, can you believe it, Mr. Walrus? I'm gonna be in your movie. Oh, yeah. And I got just the job for you. In this scene, yeah, the bridge was blown up all kaplooey by the bad guys. You're the helpless bystander. Um, Mr. Walrus, uh, why can't the helpless bystander, me, just free herself and not be so helpless, like so? Then I could pull the brake and save myself! <laughs> the brake! The brake! Listen, you. Don't you do anything until you hear me say action. Got it. This is a rehearsal, yeah? You release the break on action. On action? Action. <laughs> <laughs> that says, when in doubt, improvise! Spectacular! 
the best wouldn't change it. Walrus, give Winnie a line in the next scene. Oh, my big break. Oh, thank you, sir. You got something, kid. Yeah, and it's going to kill me for sure. Mr. Walrus, it says the baker, that's me, screams when the bad guy comes into town. What exactly should I scream? Get down the street now! Get down the street now! Like that? No! You get down the street. You get down the street. No, 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 you... Oh. <laughs> Blow up everything you see in the vest. Scene seven, action. Oh, what kind of movie heroine screams and runs away? Not Winnie of the West Woodpecker, that's for sure. Woodpecker! What are you doing? I can't take any more! <laughs> Who knew the Wallace could act? Magnificent! Brilliant! most exciting action sequence since blow up everything you see in Manhattan. I want you in all my movies. Oh, thank you, Mr. Big. But, you know, I think what I really want to do is direct. <laughs> and Wally, such emotion, such frustration. You'll be my newest villain. The Wallace my viewers will love to hate. Blow up everything you see in the Arctic. Take one. Yoinky doinky. Nice work, everyone. That's a wrap. a most unusual king. Many are the fables told how this monarch came to be. So hush, and I'll tell you the tale the way it was told to me. Once upon a time, there was a tiny little boat. And this tiny little boat was cruising slowly through the waters of the far north. When suddenly, and without warning, came a raging Arctic gale. The angry waves battered this helpless little boat from stem to stern, then stern to stem, then stem to stern, stern to stem, stem to stem. stem, stem. <laughs> Boy, what a beating it was taking. And then a voice cries out. Aah! But there is no help for this ill-fated craft. Only one man remains aboard a trombone player by the name of Jackson. Clasping his beloved trombone to his side, he springs with a mighty leap from the port side of the boat. Upon striking the icy water, he becomes stiff. But this is no new experience for Jackson. 
And now this poor trombone player struggles for his life against the elements. But the elements win because an element never forgets. Then came the dawn. The inhabitants of the island bring Jackson too. Then they bring him two more. Then they give him the bottle. Thinking him to be a god, they proclaim him king. And to this very day, you can hear them say, If you ever want to see a hip locality, it's the jumping as you ever knew. Why and come along with me, it's the only place you'll see. Jackson, the slip horn, king of Polaroo. Here nobody works a bit, they wouldn't think of it. Making music is all that they do. And the man who gives the beat is the gent you all should meet. Jackson, the slip horn, king of Polaroo. And when he plays, those hot licks on his horn. I mean the island rocks and the natives all chant, honky, honky, and. Which means I'm deep to my south. If you're really in the groove, then brother, here's your move. Grab a dog sled and march northward too. Come where music is a thing, pay allegiance to the king. I mean Jackson, the slip horn, king of Polaroo. Could you all tell me which is the way to Florida?